right guys so this one's a little bit different from usual mostly because I've had this box open and had a uh, play um, the plan was to do a tear down on this and throw it away but as you've seen uh, it might actually be useful so Windows has no idea what this is which isn't surprised because this predates Windows 10 by quite a way but it does see this as a pen and ink device which makes it useful as a nice little uh, tablet as you've seen so this was given to us as scrap uh, the batteries have failed in it so I do need to actually open it so we'll use that as a uh, excuse to have a poke around I don't intend using this as it's designed for being able to um, take notes and uh, do drawings on the fly but I may use it for doing drawings for these videos just to explain things so uh, yeah none of the software is here it doesn't work anyway um, the pen I had to go through all of the included um, ballpoint uh, tips to actually find something to work so let's have a look in here so this is more or less complete so this is a bit of an unboxing as well although I, said I have already been in here it's most definitely been used or it's not been stored particularly well put that to one side I can zoom you in a bit so you can see the note that I uh, did for the intro so you've got an idea of how that works now pop that to one side we've got the tablet itself which we'll take a look at we've got a pen and then we've got a collection of various bits and bobs here although it's branded median oh no that's nothing to do with this so yes it's median electronics which were or still are a fairly low-end PC manufacturer so this will be somebody else's kit so as a graphics tablet uh, you have USB connection there you plug it in Windows realizes what it is straight away and there it goes none of this works and of course none of this works on batteries because the batteries have leaked we've got a clip here that makes it pretty much standard sort of um, form factor for a clipboard a little bit wider we've got some extra tips in here we do have a straight straight up stylus um, personally I'm not sure how much use the straight up stylus would be we've got an SD slot on this side which will take up to 32 gigs good luck finding a 32 gig uh, 32 gig 32 meg good luck finding a 32 meg card now we have a battery slot here which this has been left with batteries in that's the bottom of the clip and you can see that uh, we've all gone very uh, fuzzy and nasty in there so we need to get that out so first things first we've got also got a reset button here and something marked ISP so assumingly we can uh, affect, influence the programming on this that feels like we are done there is a screw stuck in there where are all the electronics all the electronics are on the back on the front that's good so you can take that off and put that somewhere safe right so uh, that's looking really quite crusty down here let's zoom you down so hopefully you can see that we've got a lot of uh, leakage and nastiness in there so i suppose the first thing we need to do is get rid of these there goes one i don't really want to touch them if i don't have to Now, apparently I can't do that with a pair of tweezers um, right so looking at this uh, the damage doesn't actually look too bad um, we'll clean that up in a minute so there's not an awful lot in here I didn't expect there to be we have a grid here made out of tracks going this way and tracks going that way and the crossing on those tracks and where the stylus the active stylus is there is how it tells where the uh, tip is so there's nothing especially complex going on there I can see corrosion down here as well that's not great uh, we've got the weird flickery stuff from the overhead light as well today um, so other than that 
um, we have a sketch. No idea what that is. That is obviously the microcontroller. I catch sketch, and it says Sun Plus SPCA 535A. So that's obviously our micro. We've got some logic going on up here. Uh, RAM, ROM. We've got some other form of micro there. Um, what that might be. You see, we've lost these, but this battery terminal here is just gone, so this is where this contamination has come from. Uh, can we get that off and just see what's under there? I doubt it's anything interesting. Of course, this would probably be easier with something other than this. That is an MCU 1086 by wow never heard of them and what have we got over here that's a Heltec HD 1621B that's either a micro or more likely I just thought there is going to be a subboard under here and that's going to be oop where are you that's going to be the driver for the LCD so yeah, all we can really do with this is clean it up. Actually, now that's going to be the LCD. That will be the LCD there. So yeah, we've got a micro here as well. Right, I'm going to pause you for a second. We'll go get some bits and we'll give this a damn good clean up. And uh, I'm going to have one of these as well. It doesn't actually look too bad in here. So I think we may have gotten to this in time really. So not especially worried about there's nothing in there particularly crusty. I'm just down in the corner here now. Uh, this over here, let's that out of the way, let's bring you down, coming down. So, although we've got lots of gap from the battery in here, it doesn't actually look like there is any corrosion at all. So we'll get the worst of it off, especially around the USB cable, because we'd like that to carry on working. And we'll get that all cleared up as well. And then I'm literally just going to soak this over the bin so that anything nasty ends up in the bin. And that's rinsed. That's just isopropyl alcohol. So we'll have another quick look and double check that there is... Stay there. Everything is just plummeting to its doom off my desk today. I'll have another quick look at that and just make sure that that is looking good. Yep, I don't see anything to worry about there. I have got it on my fingers though. Uh, we've got a cloth to hand. Yes, we have. So I'm just going to dab the worst of the isopropyl alcohol off. This is just a junky cloth. Just double check. Yeah, although it's leaked, there is absolutely no corrosion in there at all. So we've probably stopped it in its tracks. Um, what I can do is if I blast this with some contact cleaner just there, this leaves a small uh, non-conductive film in place. Oh, yeah, it's non-conductive film. Um, so that should stop things from getting any worse. So um, all we've got to do now is slam it back together. Again, there's nothing special about this back. Um, this is unusual, I know. You don't normally get to see things going back together. Zoom you out again. And we'll uh, once the uh, screws in. We'll have a quick look at the stylus, but I don't think there's anything to really look at on the stylus. Little trick that a couple of people have mentioned on various other people's um, channels, and it's a very good one. It's even using something like a little electric screwdriver like this. Back the screw out first. You hear that click, and then put your screw in. 
what that click is is the screw dropping off the end of the threads and then you're driving the screw back into the same cut plastic thread which sort of makes sure that you're not just going to keep repeatedly cutting new threads in the plastic until what normally happens is the um, standoff or the insert just fails so turn it around you'll hear a click there you go and we're in it's a little bit more than just banging the screws in but it means your equipment will last a bit longer and on things like a multimeter where you're constantly taking them apart to change batteries it can sort of uh, prolong the life a little bit you can't really do it using the electric screwdriver because obviously the inertia of it keeps it spinning well past the point that uh, you've passed the start of the threads there it is click well, it appears that there are a little couple of little clips in there but there's really not much to that and the only reason I'm doing a video on it is because it's something a little bit different and something that I might use for the channel going forward so there's that so the pen you can't do much with um, you have a battery in there I believe all this is is a RF transmitter and that's it you can't get any further into that I don't think one nice little feature on this, uh, I don't know if you'll be able to see, let's zoom you down on it. It's just, where are we? There we go. Just here you see that little cover and if we just put that off as I said, you've got a spare ink and a spare touch nib and you have a little device here which pulls it out and then you can put a new one in. This is the only one that actually works currently, so we'll stick with that. So there you go. Hopefully we'll be finding some use for that and we can do some better diagrams for you of things as we go along. And you can actually see me note things down as we explore. But uh, that's that. Uh, the rest of it is pretty much garbage, so it can go in the bin. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed. Take care.